Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, How long do we have left on Earth? As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. We humans have not been on Earth for very long in the grand scheme of things. The dinosaurs were stomping around for 165 million years, while we humans only evolved about 200,000 years ago. It was only 6,000 years ago that we created anything close to civilization, and only a couple hundred years ago that we really started to figure things out in earnest towards the end of the Industrial Revolution. In short, we're a blip. So we're finally in a good spot, and it's all uphill from here, right? Not exactly. According to Professor Stephen Hawking, generally considered to be one of the smartest men on the planet, Humanity may only have as little as a thousand years left before the Earth becomes uninhabitable for our species. Well, that's not good. How come we got such a short lease? Sadly, every problem he lists is basically on us. The threat of nuclear war, for example, which has been a major concern since the 1940s, but is rearing its head again now that the people in charge of the Doomsday Clock have recently moved the hands closer to midnight than any time since 1953, the height of the Cold War. The environment also is a factor. If climate change scientists are right, rising seawaters and a host of other environmental disasters could go a long way towards making life here impossible. It's always about the nukes and the climate change, huh? There are two likely options to wipe us out, but they're not the only ones. One concern that's been brought up not just by Stephen Hawking, but also Microsoft founder Bill Gates and SpaceX founder Elon Musk is the creation of an artificial intelligence. Aren't you always saying that's one of those amazing things that will help us transcend our physical bodies and reach a new stage in human evolution? Yes, if it's benevolent. But the fact is, no one knows for sure what an artificial intelligence would do if it upgraded itself to the point where it was so smart we look like chimps, or worse, amoeba by comparison. Could it help us reach our destiny and take our rightful place among the stars? Yeah. Could it also wipe us out in a second without a hope of retaliation? Yeah. So that's, you know, one of those things we should probably keep an eye on. Okay, so in 1,000 years we're all screwed. What do we do about it? The most obvious solution is to leave the Earth entirely and begin colonizing the galaxy. To that end, NASA's Kepler Space Observatory has been busily scanning the skies for signs of Earth-like rocky planets, capable of sustaining liquid water in the habitable zones of the stars they orbit. It has so far found over a thousand planets, of which nine seem to fit the bill. This is very encouraging. From this information, scientists calculate that there could be as many as 40 billion potentially habitable planets in the Milky Way. Well, that's awesome. Why haven't we left this dumb planet already? Quite apart from the astronomical expense and difficulty of colonizing another planet, the nearest one to us is 12 light years away. We have no way of reaching it, and even if we did, we wouldn't know for sure whether it was actually habitable until we got there. Unless we can develop faster than light travel, we're going to have to settle for going extinct right here. I don't really care to travel anyway. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.